Hello guys, welcome back to Rose of Green, and today I got a mail video for you. Uh, another mail video, yes, and this is another sponsor who reached out to me on Instagram. Uh, they found my channel online and uh, wanted to know if uh, if I wanted to try this out. So I told them, uh, sure, but I've seen a lot of uh, reviews online myself, and uh, I'll make room for it and I'll uh, I'll try it out. So. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna be doing this one hand, guys, so just bear with me. Maybe I should have grabbed my uh, tripod, eh? And you guys can already see what it is. <clears throat> it is uh, the Mars TS-1000, guys. And uh, I've seen a lot of good reviews of this thing. I'm going to be doing a review myself. Uh, but what I told them is I'll put it side by side in my grill with my HLG. And uh, I'll just move my HLG over. And I'll use this light here for uh, one specific plant. I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, I might uh, might use it for the critical orange punch, but uh, we'll see when we get there. Anyway, guys, this is what we got here. Uh, this is uh, this is your warranty card, and then this is just uh, your instructions. And I assume your spectrums and stuff are on the back. It's gonna tell you all of your uh, hang distances and everything else. <clears throat> And then they give you, there's a hanging ratchet in there. Oh, my, oh, it's about time. Look at that, guys. They put two hanging ratchets in there. I'm really surprised. Just a second here. Look at that. Two, two hanging ratchets. That's, uh, that's awesome, guys. That's awesome that they caught on to that because you definitely need them for this thing to keep them from spinning. Same thing as all of those other uh, Amazon lights, the, the other models, the cheaper models, uh, and the other ones that Mars used to make. Uh, they spin, eh? You guys know there if you hang them, they start spinning and whatnot. Uh, you could fix that with uh, having a double cord. You put one on that side, one on that side, you ratchet her together, and you're good to go. But let's see how easy this comes out. Oh wow, is it ever light? I did not expect that. So, just a second guys. Sorry guys, I don't mean to be annoying here, but uh, it's really on there. Okay, so, got one side off. <clears throat> I actually thought that they had a film over top of these, but it uh, doesn't appear like they do on this one. Anyway. Just a second. That's it. They got their own driver. Oh yeah, they're rocking their own driver. You guys could pause that if you wanted to check it out. You could, uh, they got the plug here. You pull that plug guys then you could stick a screwdriver in there and you could dial her down from what i understand this thing is 150 watt let's take a look yeah it's uh well built guys very well built I wasn't expecting it to be this light. I'm actually really surprised. Anyway, guys, put that off to the side. More packaging. Some kidling for the wood stove. It's a piece of wood. And there's a uh, there's your plug, plug cable. So uh, all in all, guys, I'm actually pretty impressed with the build quality. I really thought this was a lot cheaper, but uh, 
Well, I'm actually fairly impressed, guys. It's uh, it's well built. They got a little gap in there, so uh, so it doesn't heat up too much because your driver heats up quite a bit. It's very well built. I'll show you guys the diodes again. These are uh, the Epistar, Epistar diodes, guys. Um, they're they're one of the leading uh, one of the leading brands there. Uh, they haven't quite caught up and with Samsung yet, but uh, I think it's safe to say they're ahead of Cree now. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good light there. Mars has put together here. I'm definitely interested in trying it out. Um, so it's gonna be great uh, to grow a plant with it. It's uh, supposedly very good, guys, for flowering a 2x2 two two and vegging a uh, 3x3. Three three. But uh, we're going to put it to the test on this channel, guys. So uh, make sure that you stick it out with the channel. And uh, I'm going to do a grow just with this light. Uh, and my HLG will be off to the side. I'll do uh, three plants. I'll do two off to the side. And then, uh, or actually, I'll do one off to the side with this. And then the other two with my HLG. So uh, it should be an all right series, guys. <clears throat> Uh, this light is going to produce. I know it is. Um, it's 150 watt out of the wall, and uh, and you're looking probably around uh, 700 ppfd at about 14 inches. So uh, that's just from all of uh, that's just from everything that I've seen so far. Uh, we'll see. We'll see ourselves when we're running it. So anyway, guys. This is going to be a really truthful series of how and what you could do with this Mars Hydro Light. You guys know me, I don't beat around the bush. I'm going to tell you whether I like it or not. I'm sure I am going to like it, uh, just from other videos that I've seen, once again. But uh, anyway guys, like, subscribe, comment below, and uh, hit the notifications there, because this whole grow is going to be grown with this Mars, along with my uh, other light. So, anyways, once again... We'll uh we'll see you in uh see you on the weekend. Thanks for watching.